When the pandemic began, we heard a lot about COVID outbreaks at nursing homes. At that time, they were most at risk. So when we saw a recent list of 33 outbreaks at long-term care facilities in Johnson County, we wanted to know, is it getting worse? KCTV5's Betsy Webster has a closer look and she's live tonight outside the County Health Department to explain. Betsy. Well, Ellen, indeed, the number of outbreaks right now at long-term care facilities is higher than ever, even from the start. The director here told me there are multiple factors contributing to that. Garden Terrace at Overland Park had an outbreak in July with 21 deaths. They got that under control, but in the beginning of October, they had another with 16 deaths. We got let up. The director of the Johnson County Department of Health and Environment says some facilities make mistakes, in his words, here and there. But overall, they've done a good job with improving infection control protocols since the start of the pandemic. Just because you have an outbreak that you controlled doesn't make you immune to, to the next one. In the spring, Johnson County had between five and nine active outbreaks in long-term care facilities. By summer, that number was 10 to 14. Today, it stands at 33 active outbreaks. One reason for the climb, Ariola says, is that some facilities started opening their doors to non-medical visitors, but he's not saying that should change. You can't have people not see family members. There are other emotional and mental health consequences there. The number one reason for the spike in nursing home outbreaks, he says, is what's happening everywhere in the county and beyond. He says Johnson County is now on pace to surpass 300 new infections every day. It's never, from day one, been that bad. The risk has never been higher. This summer, Brighton Gardens at Prairie Village had an outbreak of 100 cases and 21 deaths, but they've had no outbreaks since July. Ariola says overall, facilities have made great strides in protecting their residents. In August, he said 85% of the deaths in the county were in long-term care facilities. Now, he says, that's down to 65%. And that means more than a third of the county's COVID deaths come from elsewhere. So if this continues, it's going to impact our long-term care facilities. It's going to impact our schools, our daycare centers, and several other places. He says the best way to protect your loved ones is to mask up, avoid crowds, and do all those other things public health experts have been advising for months. That responsibility is on you and I, not just as a responsibility to ourselves, but as a responsibility to our community, to our vulnerable population. Now, I reached out to the two nursing homes that were included in this report to get a statement from them about what sorts of changes they have made. Brighton Gardens sent me a statement saying, in part, that they have adjusted their visitation protocols based on guidance from the CDC and local health departments, and they will continue to adjust them as needed based on the local positivity rate. We've put their full statement on our website. I'm still working to get a statement from Garden Terrace. Live in Olathe, Kansas, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. Yeah, 33. I mean, that, that number is alarming right now. Betsy, thank you.